All right, so as we said before, um, we're going to have to uh, brute force, force this thing open. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put on some goggles because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver or who knows what else tools I might have to pull out and we're going to split the case right here. The case is actually, it's probably, it's either glued, it might be, it might, it might just be a friction fit. Um, or it could be, uh, or it could be a snap fit of some sort, but I don't think it's a snap fit because I can't hardly press anything in order to, uh, you know, try to pop it open. So first off, got to get rid of the cord. Well, not get rid of it. This is actually a very useful cord. I mean, check this out. This thing is, this thing's huge. I mean, you know, for, for four bucks, I mean, you get like a six foot, uh, six foot cord that can plug in. What well, can you plug in on the other end of this? Well, let me let me let me tell you something. I already have one of these, but uh, you know, have you ever wanted to have like you know you you know I you know I you know I, I like I like. Uh... All right, so uh, we got our uh, inflator here, and uh, we've got some. Uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> we've got the. Uh, We've got the uh, attitude adjuster here, you know, and uh, we have this. This is uh, something I actually found. Actually, amazingly enough, I actually found this at a at, at a at a thrift store, and it's actually quite amazing. I I don't even know what or where or what it is, but basically it's a screwdriver, obviously, but it's all metal. The handle itself is made out of some kind of an aluminum, and then it's got this uh, nice little handle that. Uh, pivots down allows you to put it in and wrench it you know gives you a little bit of extra leverage and torque it was made it was made by swallow airplane company incorporated in out of wichita kansas i don't know if this uh, company is still in business or not i kind of think that they might not be but i've never actually looked it up but this is you know it's it's called a toughie you can i don't know if you can read that there but it's called a toughie screwdriver I wish I had had the Phillips version but I don't all, all they have is this but the nice thing about it is because it's metal because it's metal and you know whatnot I can pound on the dang thing and won't break it so uh, given that it's a standard screwdriver metal end I've got the attitude adjuster here we can wail on it don't have to worry about breaking anything except uh, maybe our thumb or what we're trying to open up here, which is, of course, the inflator. But first, I'm going to try to open this inflator kind of carefully. And uh, I don't know exactly how I want to do this. This can be kind of dangerous, but, uh, yeah, you know, get right on the seam. Yeah, can't really, can't really get in there. Can't really get into, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. All right, so we're just going to... Uh, we're going to uh, do this in a slightly different way. All right, I want to take this back part off because looking in here, I don't know if you can see through the uh, thing, but you can see, uh, yeah, you can see the fan. Fan is actually smaller than uh, this diameter here. So if I remove this back, well, I don't know. We may have to still remove the front too, but we'll see what happens. All right, uh, let's see. Do this. Uh, open this up here and uh, use it as it was designed, which is a vice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tighten it up. Not too tight. Don't want to break things, but uh, don't want to. Well, maybe we do want to just break. We can, we can, we can just, you know, if you wanted to, and you didn't care, you could just wail right on it, and it would break. I don't know about the motor though, so we're gonna be a little bit careful because we want to save that motor. And uh, here we go. All right. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty in there. Get up. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't go back now, and uh, warranty is void. And uh, oh, and just want to note, 
I've got my uh, I've got my safety goggles on. Um, I always try to uh, be a little bit safe. Sometimes I'm not, and I paid the price for it too. Um, but fortunately, I still have all my fingers. Hands are a little bit more scarred though, but uh, I didn't lose my fingers. All right, so let's get do the other side. All right, now you can see, yeah, we've got this thing, we've got this thing open. And you can see, got it nice and open. Um, and uh, the other side, yeah, it was kind of glued. It's got, oh, this is interesting. Well, that, uh, maybe that, uh, maybe that's uh, what this is about. I guess, well, let me show you. Look, see those? Batteries. I guess it's rechargeable in some way. Maybe if I read it, I, let's see. No, it just says electric air pump. It says nothing about, well, it does say something about batteries, but uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe I should have read it. Um, yeah, I guess it's a rechargeable thing, and I guess that's what this, uh, this, this uh, switch is for. Um, switch it one way to run off of, uh, to run off of batteries. Switch it the other way to run off a of DC. Middle, I guess, is for charging. Plug it in and it charges. I don't know. But you know what? I don't care. Um, all I care about is the motor. And, uh, you know, I care about the motor. And you can see it's a fairly decent motor. And uh, if we count the number of cells, we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine cells and uh, they're probably they're probably uh, uh, they're probably NICADs um, maybe nickel metal hydride um, definitely they are definitely not uh, lithium um, but if they are uh, if they are NICAD or nickel metal hydride that's 1.2 volts per cell and there's nine of them so uh, yeah, it's running off at like 18 volts, and uh, it's interesting because uh, it charges at 12 volts. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, we can kind of say that it's probably an 18 volt motor, or probably actually has a range. It probably ranges between 12 and 18 volts. That's uh, usually these motors, these kinds of motors, they're made by usually two different companies, Mabuchi out of Japan, or Johnson Motor. Um, and nowadays they might be the same thing, um, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but they're they're com they're they're common style motor. Um, we could just uh, they've got uh, a little uh, terminals um, that uh, had plugged in one side plugged in, but when I popped it open, uh, it came loose. The other side it's still attached, but uh, we can just remove it, and uh, you can see there it is. And uh, the motor itself, well. Everything is still <laughs> everything is still fairly well in there. Well, yeah, I would guess if I had to if I had to be if I if I was a betting man, I would say that this other side. Now you can see something in here. I'm going to show you this. Um, see inside there? There's a nut on the end of the uh, on the end of the shaft of the motor. So uh, remove that nut might be uh, counter threaded or you know reverse threaded uh, but uh, we can remove that nut and then probably the fan and I bet underneath the fan is a couple screws that screw into the faceplate of the motor and uh, then we'll be able to remove the motor so all right so uh, yeah we are going to go back and uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if there's a way I can Ugh, I can't yeah, I can't pull this, can't really pull this apart, although one, one set of batteries wants to move, but the others, yeah, they don't want to move at all. Um, I don't know if that's because they're glued or if they're somehow, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, I don't know why this wants, but, you know, ha ha, yeah, now we got a, we got a battery here. All right, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just have to take the chance and yank on things. Yeah, anyhow, um, yeah, yeah, this is, a. Uh, yeah, 
You know, these batteries, I'm noticing some of them actually have some rust on the ends of the tabs. Um, I might, uh, that might mean that uh, it had gotten some water in it at some point or something. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I think they are kind of glued, kind of glued, kind of, uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly, I'm not sure exactly why, why they are uh, being such a difficult thing, but uh, they, they certainly don't want to uh, come out very easily. Um, but uh, yeah, the motor itself, yeah, I don't know if I can, maybe I can pry. Some of this, you know, sometimes you want to be kind of careful when you're dealing with batteries. You know, you can kind of heard that crack that was uh, just glue releasing, I think. Um, but yeah, you know, rechargeable batteries, especially if you're, ah, oh, there we go. So, uh, you know, especially if you're dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with like uh, batteries that are lithium or something, you know, some of the newer, you know, drills and whatnot, you don't really want to mess with those. Uh, you know, <laughs> you want to be very careful because they can cause problems. But these, yeah, there we go. There's the, uh, there's the lovely battery pack. Um, and you can see there's uh, some, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like some rust and other kind of junk on there. Um, as far as what these are, what their chemistry is, well, I don't know. They are going to be going into recycling because that's probably why it landed at, uh, at the thrift store, is that it just wouldn't take a charge anymore. And, oh, wait a minute, here, we got something here. No, oh, all right, uh, 800 milliamps, 1.2 volts. So they are most definitely probably NICAT or nickel metal hydride. I have guessed nickel metal hydride. Um, I don't know, maybe I can detab these things and try charging them in a charger. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? They'll, they'll catch fire? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I've got a charger. Well, we'll give it a shot. Um, some of these, you know, some of these... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we might get some batteries out of this. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, got some, uh, you know, one of the things that I always do is I always save little bits of plastic. Uh, this is a very interesting thing. It's like a spacer or whatnot. You know, some things you never know. Usually when you're saving stuff like this, what happens is, is when you throw it away, you need it like a week later. Um... But honestly, I need to throw more stuff of that nature away, even if I do need it a week later. So, uh, you know, otherwise you end up with a shop like mine. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, we've got that. We've got the, got the uh, lovely little uh, charging circuit or whatnot. It's, uh, yeah, it's very basic, just a couple diodes and some kind of a capacitor and... Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really, nothing really too special about it. Just, uh, just plug and whatnot. We might save this. This, this might come in useful. Might save the uh, board and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you know, you know, some things, you know, you know, I might keep. Some things I won't. You know, obviously, this housing probably won't keep it. I might keep this though. It's, it's interesting. It's got a nice weird grill. That could be used for something, possibly, maybe. Or it might just get thrown away. Well, throw it away, put it in recycling, whatever. All right, so uh, we've got this motor here. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Butterfingers. All right, uh, yeah, so uh, we've got this uh, motor here. Yeah, I'm pretty, sure it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's mounted in some way, hopefully with screws. Otherwise, it's probably glued in place. Hopefully, it's not. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, work on it and uh, see what we can do. Okay, that does it for the first part of this teardown. In the next part, I'll be showing you how to remove the motor and the turbine from the housing in more detail. If you guys are doing anything with junk, with robotics, or with junk botics, or you have any questions or ideas for projects, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you liked what you saw today, Please subscribe, please share this video with your friends and let them know what I'm doing, and hey, I'll even take your likes. Until next time, thank you for watching this video, 
And remember, keep calm and keep junkin'. Oh, <laughs> my